really feel like posting on Instagram these days. I don't even really feel like blogging. All I feel like doing is making YouTube videos. I'm going to start posting videos every Saturday morning and they are going to be vlogs. I am living in Texas now with my brother Matt and sister-in-law Phoebe who will crop up frequently in these videos and we just have a lot of projects we're doing and I just feel this desire to share these projects with someone. So I'm making these vlogs and I hope you enjoy them. I'm actually real quick going to give you a little tour of my room so that you can see kind of where it's at now, what I've done with it so far, and kind of what I hope to do with it. Um, obviously it's a little messy right now, but I didn't clean up for the camera because I didn't feel like it. The floor did have carpet in here when I first got here, but it was stinky and full of cat pee. So I ripped it up and it made it like these baseboards are a little funky. Like there's, you can see the different color here. And then there's like this board here. That's a different, like just a piece of plywood or something instead of the floorboards. Um, and obviously they have this sort of scruffy look, but I don't actually mind the scruffy look. I think it's kind of cool. So right now we're not really doing anything with the floor. It's fine, especially when I got the area rug <clears throat> that covered up the worst of the floor. At some point, I think it'd be kind of cool to have some sort of headboard, maybe footboard, but for now it just as is. And at some point it will have a bed skirt. This blanket here, I'm actually not really using. I was just cold last night, so I threw it on. It matches the walls, but it's almost too matchy-matchy with the walls. I'm using this white blanket as my main bedspread. This here could also be a bedspread, this duvet, but it just seemed pretty busy compared to the rug. So right now I think I'm just going to go white. This is actually Phoebe's bedspread, but I'm probably going to get my own at Goodwill or something. I would like to get like cute pillowcases. This little guy doesn't match anything. Yeah, at some point I'd like to figure out a curtain situation. This thing here I found in the garage and just cleaned up and brought in and I'm using it for my record player, my notebooks and books that I'm just the ones I have here. Obviously I have a lot more in Oregon and then my printer and then there's a little space by the printer where I put this little heater which I sometimes use um, if it's kind of cold around here. I would like to get my outlet situation figured out better right now. There's just a lot of cords here. I would like to get a chair here at one some point. The reason why my bed is so messy and like isn't made is because I'm always sitting there because I don't have a chair in here. And it, the thing is, I want it to face looking out the window because I like looking out the window as much as possible, which is why I have my desk in front of a window. The only thing in this room that I really bought for myself is this desk. It was $75. I moved here. I needed a desk. I thought this one was cute. This is a picture that I brought with me. I like the picture, but actually I thought, okay, I could make that work. I could just do kind of like these three colors as my room colors, but then I really needed a rug because it was getting really cold in here on cold days. And so Matt and Phoebe bought me that, or Phoebe bought me that for my Christmas present because that's like one of the main things I asked for for my Christmas present. And so now I have like this blue and the green of the walls as my main colors in here. And so this painting doesn't really fit anymore. Um, so I, yeah, I'd like to get some more artwork for the walls that has like maybe ocean scenes and this, these colors. If I could get some sea foam in there too, that would be really cool. And I'm thinking of adding another accent color, like maybe a rose pink or something and having kind of like the rose pink, the blue and the green, and then you know, shades of cream and white and lots of wood and wicker and brass. I really like wood, wicker and brass. I am going to take a walk. I pulled this out of the trash. And uh, I'm thinking about putting it in my room, like making a cushion for it or something and putting it in my room. Okay. Um, but I'm wondering, 
like if I should be worried about bugs in it, and if so, how I can tell, like if there's termites um, or. I know of is just kind of a good old fashioned shakedown. <laughs> so I don't think the wood frame is hollow. And so I don't think there's any bugs in there. I think I'm going to hot glue down everything that's just kind of loose. Yeah. And I, what I'm thinking is actually tomorrow coming with a scrub brush and just kind of oh, scrubbing it down. Yeah, I, I was going to think like maybe hose it or something, but yeah, scrub. Probably might be. hose and scrub because yeah. I, I just want it to be sunny so I can make sure oh, yeah, so that it dries, dries properly. Yeah. I kind of like the weathered look though. I do too. I do too. I'm thinking a cushion, like a blue cushion or something yeah. to match the rug. That's and. So I was not even like intending to get in super into this curbside trash thing, but today I just like happened to tra pass a trash pile on my way to Starbucks and then I was like, huh, maybe I should just drive around the residential area and see if anyone threw away anything that I want. And I kind of got a bonanza. Feels like a bonanza. I haven't dumpster dived enough to know what's like a bonanza or not. All right, I'm gonna, um... Oh, my B-reel just went off. Now that I'm done B-reeling, being real, uh, I'm gonna show you all the things I got on the curb. So I got these two little drawers down here, which are gonna go in my bathroom once I clean them up. This big chest of drawers is gonna go in my closet, and then I got this drawer here, just because I wanted these like brassy looking drawer poles. I also got this clipboard. and this is the only thing we ended up getting from this auction. It's a vintage um, hot water pot. Ceramic one. Oh, that's so cute. machine we just got at this auction pickup place. Do you want to tell us about your latest treasure here? So we picked this up from the auction yesterday. It's a Wheeler and Wilson number nine, which 
my understanding is those were built mostly in the 1890s and like up to 1905. So that was my week and the last thing I did was really just give my room a good cleaning and I'd like to note that I didn't get any footage of the thrift store we went to on our big excursion because frankly, um, it was a bit of a disappointment and I didn't get anything, but I promise there will be better thrift store content in future vlogs. I did buy an extension cord from Home Depot and I was able to use that to help with this cord situation. And then um, in the closet, I put in this plastic, you know, chest of drawers that I had that I got from the dumpster. I was able to move my clothes out of the desk drawers. And then I replaced the closet door handles. They had been kind of this brushed steel, but I replaced them with the brass ones that I found in the dumpster. Finally, I moved in the wicker chair, glued down the loose reeds, and I put it in place. So my room is still a work in progress, but I marginally improved it this week. And yeah, this has been the new first vlog in my new series. I hope you have a great Saturday and I'll see you next week, same time, same place.